It's uh, just a quick recording on uh, something I found on the treknews.net website, an article about Star Trek Discovery. Uh, this series seems to uh, become my favorite um, Star Trek thing to pick uh, to pieces uh, for a long while. Uh, because it just comes up with this, um, like, cast, a new cast member announcements. Uh, then we get some, some small other things, but mainly it's been this uh, cast member uh, announcements. And here we go again. Um, I'm very bad with these kinds of uh, names, so bear with me, please. But, um... Uh, Sonequa Martin Queen, uh, Martin Green, sorry, ha has been announced uh, uh, um, as one of the cast members in Star Trek Discovery. Until this point, it's fine, it's okay, but then uh, she starts talking about uh, that this series will have a completely new viewpoint on the on the uh, plotline than uh, the earlier earlier Star Trek series and um, she says here uh, let me quote um, uh, being uh, the uh, first officer on the ship is going to be what uh, is going to be a wild ride because we haven't seen that happen before in the Star Trek canon," said Martin Green to the Hollywood Reporter. Uh, she continues, "We haven't seen the story being uh, be told from the per perspective of the first officer rather than the captain. It's going to open uh, so much potential for new storylines because not being the captain automatically gives you di a different perspective. Mm. Um, yeah, um, let me bring my 10 cents into this discussion. Uh, some people might disagree with me and some people might uh, agree with me, but here goes. Um, I found I find this comment very um, uh, funny, uh, for lack of a better word, because if she had looked at uh, the earlier Star Trek series, let's say the next generation, uh, uh, the next generation Deep Space Nine. And uh, uh, for example, Voyager, and I'm 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 uh, like purposefully um, disregarding Enterprise because Enterprise was a wholly different thing than the others that I mentioned before. But if um, uh, Martin Green had looked at those series. Uh, uh, she would have been. Uh, she would have noticed that yes, they are somewhat captain centric, but no, they aren't just captain centric. It's like um, senior command crew centric series. Those uh, the next generation of uh, Deep Space Nine and Voyager. Uh, they have very strong captain characters. Uh, yes, but they are not captain centric. They are centered um, around maybe five, six different main characters, and then they sprinkle some other characters, uh, uh, whatever, uh, whatever, may, uh, whatever way it suits uh, um, an episode. But uh, saying that, and uh, they are ca captain centric or that the new series won't be such uh, so captain centric as the old ones i found that funny because um uh, the original series was high uh, was very strongly based around captain kirk 
but it still had a very strong uh, like trinity of characters uh, in Spock, McCoy, and Kirk, plus the, uh, plus the other main characters Sulu and um, and uh, Scotty and uh, Chekhov and uh, Uhura. So I found I find this kind of comments um, somewhat odd because she says here. Uh, uh, later in the interview, that <clears throat> that uh, where was it? Let me find it. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, she said to Vulture uh, dot com that yeah, I love the original series. It's my favorite out of all all of them, and I just love uh, the dynamic between Kirk and Spock. And um, she forgot McCoy, but okay, I'll give her that because McCoy was a very strong part of that um, a trinity of um, main characters in that series. But I'll I'll give her that if she thinks that that's fine with me. Um, but and I totally understand her comments uh, with uh, with relations to. Uh, how uh, how Captain Centric the uh, the Star Trek is if you just ba base your comments on the original series because then it's quite true. Uh, but if we look at other Star Trek canon, as I said before, um, I think it's a very um, like um, uh, uh, crew uh, command crew um, centric uh, type of series. And movies, so I don't know, uh, but uh, but on the on the Star Trek Discovery thing as a whole, it's said here that it's shooting in Toronto, Canada right now. That's nice. That's very nice. And that it, that it should premiere this fall. That's also very nice. I just have a, a one very big problem with it, with it, which is that um, where's the trailers or where are tra uh, the trailers? Oh yeah, we have had that, like was it 30 seconds, 25 seconds or even one minute trailer that showed some um, behind the scenes footage and uh, kind of um, just put it out there that we are really showing the series, but it didn't show anything else. Um, so uh, we don't have that much information on the series as a whole, and it should premiere this fall. I mean, come on CBS, this is uh, this is ridiculous. You should be coming out with trailers, you should come uh, coming out with um, plot reveals, you should, coming, uh, you should come out with character reveals, because Let's face it, we we don't have many of those either. Uh, so it, it's the whole discovery thing. It's still um, it's still uh, kind of um, sad. Yeah, I think is the right word. Um, the way the the way they marketed the whole thing and the way they uh, all the series has been. Uh, put out there to the public conscience, so it's 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 really um, getting getting to me as a Star, Star Trek fan how poorly this series is being treated uh, by CBS. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that's how I feel. Um, but yeah, as usual, I will post a link to the story that I described here and talked about here. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, other than that, I don't have anything else to add uh, to this topic right now. Um, so, uh, so guys, remember to uh, subscribe, comment, uh, like, dislike. That would be so nice. That would be uh, that would be very helpful. Um, and uh, also, as a like personal note, I'm trying to get back to my normal um, schedule of releasing videos every day. Uh, as I mentioned in an earlier video, um, 
I have had some family uh, family tragedy tragedies happen to our family in the last couple of or oh, last month. Um, well, I can say it a lot here. My brother, my brother died. Uh, so it's been very uh, tough for our family, and it's it's taken a lot of my energy. So that's why I've been gone for a little while, and also I've been very busy with my um, sports team that I manage. Um, so yeah, there, there you go. But uh, I'll. I'm trying to get back to normal here, so uh, I'll start releasing videos every day, every other day, at least every other day for starters. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Have a good night or day or morning whenever you are watching this, um, and see you again back here soon. Bye bye.